right? But however, there's nothing to feel completely miserable. Because sure, I mean, for one, we actually finish off the story of two characters for the third one, but it might be big, it might be slow, but the most important part is he's thick. <laughs> Look at that, the loading bar is completed. <sighs> That's a relief. Alright. I have quite a bit of a snag over here. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to run away. in a hurry! Yes, I'm in a hurry, alright. You like this sort of thing? We don't oh, get a lot of fights in our line of duty, so. That's why we need to the cops from the have nots since 1829. I've had a <laughs> 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 a deceased boy, but bit of a shame there's nothing I can do about him.
Feel right with their sure good, they sure are, but let's call the lights. That won't do at all. You know what? If I've done this right, you'll wake up in a bit. That's almost better than whiskey. Right. Oh, I had it with you! No, you have not. Uh, 
all those disagreements. good at this. Oh, I know. Music box. That's machiney bits. Sandman. Hmm. Sledger. Well, even Dick the Naughty Dog. Blue Molotov. Perfect. Um, shit. Oh, whatever. How the hell does all this work? I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> so that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. In Aberdeen, they fought from the sewers. So I hear. And I was essentially just slowly dying here. Me too, that's a good measure. And a pointy stick is my nice. You're awfully good at this. Hmm. Oh, I'm awfully good at this, you say. You think I'm 
Sleep tight, darling. <sighs> That's not what I <laughs> wanted to wake up to. The problem is, you know, the bunch is like too high up. Therefore. So, the sergeant says, I didn't see you at camouflage training, so I says, thanks. Who goes there? That's not yours. Lovely. I'm reincarnated as Ollie Starkey. Bulb. Whatever. 
to be. It's a long road that's not got a turning. It's gonna be all right once the pain's gone away. You never see the postman, do you? The royal man? Well, the oh. job. Or so they say. Oh, are alike to me. Go forth and sin no more. There's the one! Uh. Get him! Oh. You go fuck yourself. Oh. Hey, you need to get out! Fuck with your fucking uh. left wing piece of shit. You're not coming back. to move to keep on fighting or maybe I'm just uh, going too much at it I don't know
About time you woke up. It's really boring here. Mm. I did get it. At least I did get it. I see his chest over there too, because why not? Passing? I don't think so. What the hell is it? Proper medication while I'm slowly dying here now. That's not good. No bueno. No, no, no bueno. Of course, now our thick boy over here, he is pretty. He's military trained and everything, but he's a uh, poor life. 
lifestyle choice is kind of took a bit of a toll on him. Yeah, a long time dead on that city. Stay away. Was I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. That's what it was. God fucking damn it. Someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Uh. They're going to know it was you. You told everyone in the Duke's arms you were going to do it. What were you thinking? What do you think, Lass? I was thinking I won't have to see Uncle Jack's stupid face everywhere. I'll just put up another antenna. You're right. Oh, you're always right. I think you better get out of town. And where do you expect me to live then? In the Garden District? They don't have televisions there, do they? Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. Cat suit. Cat suit. <laughs> now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. We can come back here from any other hatch and we don't have to meet any damn English. How the hell does all this work? How the hell does all this work? So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know.
I could do this in the dark. I think I have. Fair enough. Hmm. At least there's all these ones taken care of. These on the shelter and the shelter were there too. Fuck it. If you don't know where you're going, you ought to have no trouble getting there, man. Right? And sick of night, he takes the road in. As their poor sinner was a broad in. You're awfully good at this. And even better with this too. Day for it. Right is right. Right is right. Bob's your uncle, Farry's your aunt. Right is right. Right is right. Say something, goddammit. You frightened me half to death wearing that. I'll cheer you up, all right. What? You even think about coming back? Did you hear something? I don't know, have you? What do you think? I don't know.
the guilty bugger! Yeah. Right there! Right there. Right there. Right there. Shark. <laughs> you must be wondering. How do you go around very that? Well, you see, you let it rot in the sand for a few months until it's not poisonous anymore, mostly. And then it smells like ammonia. And then you can hang it up to dry until it's chewy. Now, I don't care how starving I am. I'm not going to eat rotten shark, thank you very much. Of course, everyone knows Santa brings presents. But what happens to the men and women who've been naughty? Coal in their socks, right? Actually, I'd love some coal in a cold night. <laughs> but in Czechoslovakia, they get a visit from the terrifying Krampus. He carts off evil people to be eaten. Do I have your attention now? <laughs> now, I know you've all been good this year. And if you haven't, well, I don't want to hear about it. But wouldn't it be fun to dress up as a Krampus and scare wicked people? <laughs> now, when I was traveling in Mexico back in, uh, I can't remember where, but I felt there was an enchanting strange castle. It was called La Piñata. I have it right here. <laughs> here he is. Ooh. A large, colorful, paper mache sculpture. Oi! You ain't no way to dress around here. I'm putting right, a stop on it. It's like I don't want to Bobbies. Protecting the haves from the have nots since 1829. Fucking try my best. Get what's Stop. coming to ya! <laughs> In the name of the Lord! Really? Friggy! Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord! Oh, oh. You do that around me. Someone needs a nap. <sighs> Finally. What an argument.
with that then. Take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh... But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Some sort of silly prank. When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. The teacher to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No, you can't, please. I, I'll take you. To the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. <laughs> I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not 
going to give it to her. No. No, no. I have a much better idea about them. Way better than you ever Bit of sugar, milk. So, she's got coffee while the rest of us are drinking toasted chicory. I don't think she likes him very much. This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am going to kill you! Mm -hmm. I am going to kill you! Sorry, I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. Answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Okay, Mr. Birthwhistle, you can have as big an office as you like. Mm, that doesn't sound like Miss Bing, does it? Yes, it does. Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Miss Ben, is everything all right? Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? If you're going to talk to that Bobby, you can't do it looking like Ollie Starkey. Who the hell am I supposed? <laughs> What's to look like then, King Edward? Maybe there's a maid's uniform in the house somewhere. 
Hmm. Come in, Constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. Ah! Buddy. Thick boy. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Then. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Sure, Get sure. away! Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple from the executive committee. I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. Is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right, tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Hmm. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie. So they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye. I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. Oh, I'll throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yogurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? Because there is no joy. <laughs> All right, coffee yogurt. What is yoghurt exactly? It's fermented milk. Like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. This will be fun. Evaporated milk, sugar... Well, that's coffee yoghurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you better give her that yoghurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. Sure. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Or wrap something around your face. 
And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. Counting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> I need air. Open the door. I'm suffocating. <laughs> I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word. Well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. Almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need... Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out more, Ollie. Hmm. She's around. Bloody brothers. <clears throat> I've never even heard of Prudence Holmes. Why don't you ask someone else? You really ought to think things through. I did think it through. Bloody off you go. I was your friend. The only one. Thanks, say the blisters. Why would you do this to me? This thing? Bring a white? Uh, I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? Come in, constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naismith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. 
They'll expect their sandwiches. I think he's getting upset. Ollie, you better talk to him. Well, if you don't mind, ma'am, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. You come right in. Miss Bing? You around? You better get Miss Bing back to the closet. How about I get his soul out of his fleshy body? Like as of now. The children won't stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, eh, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Good. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Let's go see the executive committee. Oh! People have to know. In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. You're welcome, asshole. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry, find them. Well, that was unexpected. 
Ow! But I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen. That's me off to bed then. Day for it. Hello there, love. Yeah, crush your ass to the thick hairy Scotsman. <laughs> hey, he doesn't get a lynch mob after me. Why? Just why? Couldn't be better, thanks. You know, I think someone's looking for you. Yeah. Where are you going in such a hurry? You have an ancient day, have you? Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. here and well for one that it wouldn't really matter that much and two because uh, it would have to be a lynch mob after me Great. so in the middle of a crackhead village yeah, there's a very thick hairy scotsman Lovely day for it. What? Mm-hmm. So high off your joy. I believe traps will work on these guys pretty much.
Oh, oh, that's terrible. for you today. Been a while, hasn't it? How can I help you? I hope you're very happy with that. Please come again. What's your fancy today? How's the family? I'm not surprised you're not finding what you want. I used to have more interesting stock than Lionel Cashier robbed me. Lionel? Of the odds and bobs? Sure. Went out uh, a fly, model citizen. Where do you think his stock comes from? Went out of the factory since the late, great, yeah, you know, thing we don't talk about. I told the bobbies, but I just laughed. He pays them off, you know. You don't believe him, do you? Well, supposing I were to lend you a hand? You're not serious. Let's suppose that bullet-headed Bobby wound up somehow in the bin near the odds of bubs. There'd be a nice commission on whatever of my stuff we retrieve. You're going to attack a policeman? Don't get all up on your high horse. Who cares what I'm going to do from day to day? Bueno.
groovy, baby, yeah! Love to die for it. <laughs> Mittens, Oliver Starkey. Duty's uh, head, Rose Garden. I got you know to fill in this one, but whatever. Everyone is talking about these shocking things that happen.
forget to take your joy. And the weather report is rain, rain, go away. <laughs> Remember, gentlemen, while rainwater goes down streams and whiskey, it does not contain fear. Oh, Cheese and rice, that's strange. Well, you are acting in a provocatory manner. Now you're on the right side of the law. Special some of these are weak. Weirdos just pop out of nowhere. Who is that for? We still your bastard. You may have noticed one of our favorite shops boarded up. Don't be too worried, we're told the proprietor, you know who I'm talking about, he's renovating. And he doesn't want anyone to see him until he's done. I suspect he may simply have gone on holiday and doesn't want us to know. <laughs> so if you notice a certain person comes back to work looking remarkably well rested, we'll know the truth, won't we? Extra one more time! I love a game of hide and seek. I see ya! You're coming with me! No! Are you up? We all get what's coming to us in the end. I'm sorry to say tomorrow's a hell of a postponed due to uncertain weather. That's very well played, Greek. I do. They will let you know the revised history as soon as we receive it. It happened. Who's there? What's going on? It's a very special, special today. What else? Is it pepperoni? Is it filet mignon? Is it roast chicken? Or is it just several cases this of fresh, delicious meat? Oh my God! Ah, now that I've got your mouth watering, I can tell you what it is. You'll have to go visit yourself, and do give your favourite butcher my regard. There has been some confusion about the pass required to enter the city centre of Wellington Wells. So obtain your pass, yeah. you simply need to ah, present yourself sake. in... My goodness! Alright. Get an empty slack as well. So obtain your pass, you simply need to present yourself in person oh. with a recent photograph... I don't think I have forgot about you, you oh. hag. Then I'll make a racket. All you have to do... Stop! Turn around! Oh. There he is! Oh. Get him, lads! Oh. Yeah, you know what? I want to close the door. That's what I want to do. You never liked me, did you? Okay, good. I thought he broke the door. The leadership of the Home Army hastens to remind the public that the victory camp and the surrounding members of our religious system be preserved in its immediate post-victory state. Let's ditch the dead. Unmarked minefields and unexploded ordnance in every which way. This game is completely outstanding as any purpose in the world. What the plant flowers? I'm not passing them entirely. Don't fuck this in, alright? Ring out, you need! Monty Python would be proud. Ish. I'm conscious. Fucking a. Need another willy. Willy dilly, happy dilly. And it's a fly me, Jack Wolf. It's a lovely little book with cheery illustrations and quotations from all your favorite wartime heroes. 
Don't you all to carry around so much stuff? Uh, thanks for the record. Thanks for reminding me. I really appreciate that. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, shit. Cool shit, cool shit, cool shit, and even cooler shit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Many. I don't have to see the pot until they get, and they get a, you know, like unfazed by the the rotting corpse in the side. That's right, you let the doctors take care of them. Everything's coming up roses! Right as rain. Right as rain. Da 
down it. Oh, down it. Careful. You know how there's all that joy gas in there? It's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. <laughs> Damn right I do. Also, good thinking is all too. Simon says, step on one lift platform. Take a flying fuck at the moon. Wait, I didn't say Simon says. Ollie! There's no one here but us ravens. Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Simon says, step on two platforms. Simon says, go drown yourself in the river! You fucking cow. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. <laughs> Step on three lit platforms. Ha <laughs> ha I didn't say Simon says. Now, Simon says, step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, funny, you wax thing! Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lift platforms. Act two and Max Snell, you bloody charlatan. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're the first wee dick that's ever made me long for the real Jack! Be sure to enjoy your day! Quite away from the music halls, aren't we? Should clear up soon, I think. Did you see the Pipers match? Smash it! Let this be a lesson to you then. Thank you. And now to where kind belongs. In the shitter. At least the blue car in the world, but mm. Wherever you are. Oh, think about it. Ah. There's 
the one that did it! For God, for Harry and St George. Supplies. Die. Oh, I Holy shit, he fucked up. Well, lad, this is what we trained for. Fucking god. There's some would say property is theft. Huh. You're coming, you better off dead. Dead, dead, dead. on it. That'll unlock it. Where to go, you shit? open for the smallest <laughs> I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. I would drop some stuff, laddie.
might want to see a doctor, sir. Right, I've had it with you. You have not had it with me. I just lost it. Look what I... Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. The bummer is no the landlords are uh, having a party with himself and dog and dinner and everything. Really takes it out of your shoulders. Time stop after the first half. Ollie, you're going to hurt yourself if you don't lighten up your bags. Hmm. Oh well. will meet in hell. I will drop some stuff, laddie. Just passing through. Probably have to see 
gebracht. Time was I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. so much stuff. Just cricket bats. Huh. Sandman. E-girl. Eager cleaver. Spiky wig. Funny prick. Cow drops. And Sept Easel too. Hmm. Doctor, as soon as you can, and don't be sure to get to a place where you can be taken care of properly. Anyway. 
What is the reason you suspect oh, someone close to you as tuberculosis? my biological weapon. The only have to be sure if your Smells like someone cleaned every surface with mortaline. Good thing I didn't smoke anymore. How the hell does all this work? So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. Tinkering, that's a thing I know. I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. Struggling. Dangerous business. You step onto the tracks, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing whether you might be swept off to.
I got two options over here. Run past the Jubilee and get my ass kicked, or well, even that thing over there. Actually, you know what? Fuck you. Constables.
Not me, laddie. Her. Bring this to Bobby Catesby. You know where to find him. Everyone knows where to find him. What's in it? A pound of flesh. Aren't you glad you asked? Just give it to Bobby and don't ask stupid questions. Still, you bastard. Mm-hmm. I fucked up a jubilator. Not the man who for fucking up the rent that I please. I love a game of hide. good at this. Mm -hmm. Indeed I am. <laughs> now for the healing bomb. Sugar and a lot of people do just straight up shoot honey up into your veins. And he told the story of the villagers of Ham. Blood's home. Maiden's home. Will you gang to the highlands? Leave me, Lindsay. Will you gang to the highlands? Leave me. <laughs> you were still singing in the background, too. Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death. How can I say? The town of Hamlet brought to the maid. Thinking... Nothing was left of it but. Jerky, sick of tea, tea. Five tea, yeah. Even better than expected, too. Good at this. How the hell does all this work? Kaboom. So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. Well, there are villages and old books that are not there now. No, they do. I'll tuck you in. <laughs> and I won't right. back you right. with you. No more Mr. Nice Guy!
meta. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Get what's coming to us in the end. I've got stuff you don't even know you want. I've seen worse weather than this. I'm oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> Just what I was hoping he'd have. I mean, I, I was hoping he still had. It's mine. What's in the package? Something I might sell to you later. If you're a good boy, don't ask too many questions. <laughs> oh, I've so many things to sell, you know. You won't regret it. I imagine it's 30 pieces of silver. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I've already been judged, Ollie. I can see that. No questions asked. The rolling pin. Maybe it's this, but if so, I'm buying. A nod's as good as a wink to a blind bat. <laughs> am I right or am I right?
actually don't need this maybe. Out of funds. Are you kidding me? Polar device. Eh. Still sorry I couldn't help. to bed with you. people for reading that ought to be obvious. Oof. That guy did. Now, should I take the low or I take the high road? Now...
Oh, that really takes it out of your shoulders. You look how I feel, mate. The worst of it is, we did things the Germans didn't even ask us to do. Here, quests, let home. I wonder if Uncle Jack writes his own lies, or if there's someone I need to add to my list. Better half an egg than empty shells. Don't go opening people's boxes just because they're... Always What's got into you, laddie? I used to be the fastest, you know. Then I wanted to be even faster. I got a recipe for it. Don't ask me from whom. Then they took it from me. And you know what? I can't run, even like I used to. It was a crutch. I can see how it'd be hard to run with a crutch. Uh, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. Will you run for a bit with me? Till I get the hang of it? At least I can outrun you. I mean, look at you. You're not going anywhere fast. And I'll get my confidence back. Thanks for the flattery, laddie. Rough beast slouches towards the house of bread. Scabby Walloper.
Fatty boss! Drop that box, you weasel headed ah, club! We have protected it! With your energy, watch it go low. A red chicken. Shake your mouth. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. <laughs> there we go. Brother's keeper? Am I? Who's gonna clean that? What's he doing to the perception of the king? wrong with him. Next time you see those lads, why don't you just run away? Run away? Yes, I could have done that. I should have done that, shouldn't I? Instead of hiding, you've helped me. I've been running around watching people bury things. I've marked it all down. Take this map. You deserve it. Ah, could be worse. I try not to talk about the. Where you know, all rotting? But Sometimes I just can't help it. Do they? Oh, yeah, I've already been there. There we go. Now, what was all that for? Set my health away for nothing.
YouTube. A bigger banger. Kaboom. Hmm. Yeah, perfect. Duct tape and a loose screw. And for that comes a Sandman. You're awfully good at this. One day, maybe, we'll wake up from all of this. This be a lesson to you then. Good at this. The pipe down. Durable. Metal tube and more power cell needed. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. Oh, we 
to keep myself alive for not putting a lynch mob against me. There's no cinch we cross dress. Isn't that amazing? Oh, good. Nothing but blue skies! Lovely day for it. Thanks to the gods, through pathways rough and muddy, a certain sign that making roads is not this people's study. Afternoon. Proper shoes. Seven of them. <sighs> that is quite rich, ain't he? I hope you like that, it's one of my favourites. your fancy. I'm um, say, you look like a man who uh, knows his way around town. I have a client who likes to uh, collect things. Very powerful man. He has quite a few employees, but he'd rather they not know about his uh, private interests. Colonel Lawrence has a very special item. A taxidermied dog. My client is quite anxious to add it to his collection. Is there anything special about this dog? Oh, uh, no, no, it's just, just a peculiar stuffed dog. There, there's, there's nothing inside it or nothing. <laughs> but it's just very important that you deliver it undamaged. He's lying. I think you might be right about that. 
course I'm right about that. Well, look, come back with it and I will make it worth your while. You are. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. Lovely day for it. No, don't for the drop. Morning. Chucky hmm. stew. I'm afraid I'm not finding it. You take your joy in it. Luckily for me, those things have a very short range. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. My wet dream was to have one of these in real life. <laughs> You're awfully good at this. After the first step, it's a shorter journey on the way. No, he's not joking. Oh, he's not kidding. No, he's not wrong. Right? Nothing like a nice quiet walk to keep you from going mad. Right, Margaret? <laughs> Lovely day for it. Right out. Get 
for being in his side. Sadly, I'm like stalking you know, you kind of view the map and walk at the same time. But I'm like, hey, what can I do, right? Is there meat on sale? You're not a bad after all. You left the doors wide open. In case you hadn't noticed, dear dad is starting to stink like a pork chop on summer holiday. Well, obviously we can't keep him here any longer. Oh, then perhaps you two would like to arrange the burial with your half of the inheritance. I should think those costs would be shared. Regina and I don't go in for fancy rituals. The man's dead. He won't appreciate the fuss. Well, the body has got to go. Surely cremation would be cheaper. A few pounds cheaper. But we're still stuck with the, the, the remnants. At least an urn doesn't need its diaper changed. Suppose we just plop him out in the street after sundown. Don't the jubilators take care of these things? But what if people see us doing it? <laughs> I, a war hero and all? I'd hate anyone to think poorly of Ned and me. We have our reputation to keep up. The man's the only war hero we've got. Not scraps to be disposed of. If you two are so set on turning this into a celebration, go ahead. But Ed and I are not paying for your victory party. I wonder what taxidermy costs. Not cheaper than burning him, I shouldn't think. Isn't there a freezer downstairs? <gasps> you are not putting our father in there with my pies. I slaved over those. You know perfectly well how delicious they are. So I'll thank you to show a little respect. Someone ought to give that man a decent burial. Oh, Colonel. You have come a very long way from the honours of Ramsgate, have you not? You didn't deserve burns such as these. You can't hide forever. You're right. You won't get away. You won't get away. <laughs> This is what we trained for.
Drop some stuff, laddie. Go forth and sin no more. These are not burning anymore. Ollie, you're going to hurt yourself if you don't lighten up your bags. Now that's true, all right. All these useless junk. Useless piece of junk, to be more correct. I think I enjoy being a thick Scottish maid as of now. to get this ridiculous dog. I didn't again. Do you think there's something inside of it?
bodies here too. <coughs> Good lord. Uh, actually, hold up. I cannot, eh? Hey? You already think I'm screaming. For God, for Harry, and St. George. Do you ever wonder if those eyes in the dark are rats, or something worse? A bigger banger. Hmm. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. What's your pleasure then? Can you believe that red card? Oh, ridiculous! Well, he's Starkey, I, I, I don't suppose you're looking for a job? I'm afraid that's not in my wheelhouse. Uh, good luck to you! Morning! Better first aid skills or what? I pursue to Jubilee after you can't. You can't bloody well activate them with your bare hands, can you? They can make you sick or sell them. Shopkeepers. Sorry, I can't remember what I came here for. Sorry, you had to see that. The urge. The fucking urge.
I feel the urge to kill her already. Bonnet bun. Meet in hell. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. buy anything we already have a religion charity begins at home goodbye you need to look like someone they can trust Where is that hmm. how convenient oh are you a repairman lovely day for it oh i don't know that we have anything that needs fixing not so far a fine strapping young repairman like young Ollie! It would be such a shame if we sent him away and then it turned out that something did need fixing. Let's have a quick check, shall we? One, two, three, three and a half. Oh, looks like we found a few small things. Will you take a look? Right, uh, I could just sort of walk around the house and see if anything needs to be sorted. Ollie, you must come to the kitchen. Our refrigerator has stopped working. Oh, no, we can't have that. Let's have a look-see. It suddenly got very hot in here. And maybe that's the problem. With the refrigerator? It was fine. And then it just broke. I'm not quite sure how a refrigerator breaks this way. Unless someone put a pry bar to it, but uh, I think I can patch it up all right. How lucky. For the refrigerator. Well, look at you. Oh, to be young again. Watch it, 
Oh, you'd simply must help us with our popper. And you sure want to test a copper popper. The constables are prickly lot. Oh, you don't want poor, sweet little old ladies like ourselves at the mercy of marauding downers and wastrels, do you? Looks like someone yanked open the side panel, stabbed a hole in the works with a knitting needle, poured in a cup of Earl Grey tea and shorted out the electrics, if I had to guess. Oh, such an eye for details. A lady could get lost for hours in those eyes. What's amiss with your loo? Oh, it, it seems to be cracked. Funny. Looks like you got hit by a hammer. Oh, sometimes I can be so clumsy. I'll patch it then. Jesus fucking Christ, mate. Locked. Damn it. Don't these ladies need something fixed in the bedroom? My, but you offer funny many services. That's not his wife, is it? Mustn't watch it till it won't boil.
our own wee planet burn. was I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. There are Lionel's cats. Aren't you at least going to leave them something in return? Margaret, uh, uh, how much did you... Uh... I don't want to talk about it. That's for the best, I think. Remember, we're always safe in the dark.
Okay. Get what's coming to us in the end. Is there someone there? Yes, me. You know what? Only because I can. <laughs> there we go. You never liked me, did you? That would be... <sighs> Fuck me. Don't mind me, love. I'm just here to read the meter. <laughs> we'll just borrow this for a bit, if you don't mind. Do like I've told you, Meg. Don't do like I do. From each according to his ability. For God, for Harry, and St. George. Found it was. What can I do for you today? Been a while, hasn't it? The cats! That's marvellous! Hope you didn't have to go uh, above and beyond the call of duty. Laddie, <laughs> you have no idea. Well, here you go, as promised. Nothing but blue skies. Lovely day for it.
Take the low, I take the high road. Cut from all of shoulders. Everything's coming up roses. What a lovely day to promenade. E five for fun.
<laughs> Look who's in a hurry. I know. Young and by. Much better. Bastard. You have an ancient day, have you? I'm terribly sorry, sir. The Executive Committee have decided to close the parade of visitors for the duration. Duration of what? They neglected to specify, sir. But I have been specifically informed that it is unrelated to the dispersion of plague. So, you may put your mind at ease in that regard. Then how the fuck am I supposed to get to the parade, you bell-headed turd? Perhaps you can dig a tunnel, sir. Good luck! For fuck's sake! It wasn't helping me anyway. Aren't there already tunnels? For the train tracks, oh sure, but there's no way past the hatch on the other side. Believe me, I've tried. Then how does the Motlin get to the village from the mines on Apple Home? You're right, there must be tunnels. I've no idea where. Do I have to spell it out for you? Dr. Faraday! Oh, yes, she designed the Motlin flow system. Oh, she's got to have the blueprints for the Motlin tunnels. Bravo, Ollie. One day you won't need me anymore. Don't you start talking nonsense, lassie. <laughs> I'll go see Dr. Faraday. So the parade's locked up tighter than a vicar's bumhole. Lovely. But 
there's the motoring tunnels. Dr. Faraday has to have a map. Maybe she'll let me make a call here. So, hope to see you guys next time, you know, and, uh, until then. Oh.